everyone. Hi, my friends. This is Lady Phoenix. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to nursey nursey here. Nurse Phoenix is going to tell you. Well, I am a registered nurse, but I have my stethoscope on because I'm going to talk a little bit about love. And it's not the typical love that you guys know about. This love talk that I'm going to do is because I know you guys love your friends, you guys love your family, your significant other, your pets even. My pet is roaming around there somewhere, so you might see her around. <laughs> I think you saw her tail there in the beginning. But anyway, so when I talk to you not about that kind of love, I wanna talk about the love of your heart, you know, loving your organ, your heart that we have in there. Because a lot of times we don't think about, you know, love month, it's all about chocolates and hearts and candy and flowers and your significant other and things like that. And, um, you know, it's, it's things we don't think about thinking about ourselves so love your heart my friends if you don't know how to use the stethoscope go ahead and um, you know watch one of my videos and learn how to use one and what the parts are for and things like that um, you know buy yourself a stethoscope they're not very expensive I think the cheapest one is like maybe 13 15 bucks or something like that and the ones I usually typically buy are like 20 something dollars so but anyway like this one I don't usually spend much on the other ones that are you know but anyway that's a different video that I have but I want you to do different things, you know, do different things for yourself. Even if you don't buy a stethoscope, uh, if you already have one, learn how to use it. Uh, if you have a blood pressure cuff, I know a lot of patients have, um, there's my little my little girl back there. Um, a lot of patients, um, they buy the blood pressure machines, the electronic gadgets from the, from the pharmacist and from the pharmacies. But I don't really care for those much. I like the old fashioned ones, but you know, it is something to have and something to give you an idea. Um, a lot of times in my family, I have people that have high blood pressure and I ask them, well, what was your last blood pressure? And they don't even know that. So at least know your blood pressure this month. What is it? And you know, you don't even have to know what the numbers mean. But a lot of times, you know, get involved into knowing what the numbers mean because a lot of times I notice a lot of people go around knowing their top number and they don't know their bottom number of blood pressure. And that's one of the important ones to really know. So, um, you know, in case an emergency were to happen, you at least can tell medical personnel what your last blood pressure was and then, you know, you can go from there. But, you know, give some kind of history, some kind of information. So know those things, my friend. That's your health. You want to be involved in that. Um, the other thing that I actually have... Um, not done myself that I'm guilty of and I'm really we're the worst patients in the medical field you know doctors nurses we're the worst patients ever because we you know take care of a lot of uh, patients and do it really well but not for ourselves so that's another area I have to work on myself because I haven't gone to the doctor for probably two years so I definitely have to go to the doctor have my checkup done check my heart out because so I have you know been getting a little twinges here and there in my um, heart area so I definitely need to get myself checked so not only that but take a look at another tip is take a look at your salt intake you know I was surprised and shocked actually <laughs> shocked the hell out of me when I realized how much salt we were using and I know that's something that typically we hear everywhere but even as a nurse I had not even realized how much salt we were actually using until I started going around and kind of checking things here and there which I may do another video later on about you know how much salt we were having and, and give you some examples and so on and so forth but just take a look at your salt intake and kind of reduce that if you can we started switching this month to uh, crystal um, Himalayan salt the pink crystal salt and it's it's pretty good you know for the most part it's not anything that I, at the beginning I put very little and I noticed like I, I was missing craving the salt but you know, as I went along and tried it out a little bit more, I realized it was just like, it tasted just like salt. So like regular salt, and that, actually that's real salt, my friends. So anyway, not that blue stuff that you buy at the market. Uh, but anyway, and I got that one that I got, I think I got it from Trader Joe's, I, I wanna say, I don't remember, but anyway, I'll come back and tell you if I, if I know. And um, it was either Trader Joe's or Lazy Acres, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, Trader Joe's. Sorry, I got some bad allergies here. Anyway, love yourselves, my, my friend, is the next tip I want to give you. Love yourself. What does that mean? Well, a lot of times, you know, especially, you know, um, I'm a little bit on that, well, a lot on the overweight side, but a little bit on this um, new mindset of trying to change my thoughts because a lot of times, you know, if you're overweight like I am, you know what I mean when I say, you know, sometimes we're sitting down in the bathroom, we'll pull our pants down or in the shower and we're looking at our legs and we're like, oh, oh my God, these legs are huge. What? And, you know, I just started working out recently last week. Uh, well, I've been doing my... Uh, I've been doing actually bad wing exercises, what I call them for my arms, about, you know, about a month ago, no, two, almost two months ago. It's been since the, the beginning, right before the new year. So, but now I added out some Zumba, so I've been like, 
moving around and shaking it about and all that but the thing is that you know you look at yourself and you want things to happen like magic you want the weight to automatically disappear and it doesn't happen that way you know it took a long time to get it on it's going to take you a little while to get it off so don't beat yourself up and say uh, bad things negative things to yourself and say oh my god your legs look like a my god you look like a pig and things like that because honestly it's not doing you any good you start a, a terrible cycle of beating yourself up emotionally and then you feel bad then you go eat and you eat the wrong things and then you feel even worse and it's just a cycle so you don't want to do that the next thing you want to do that I want to talk about the last thing is to love your mind in loving yourself love your mind and what I mean by that is not only love it but exercise it just like we love our heart and we think about things to reduce our salt and maybe taking the stairs and some kind of physical exercise we want to do the same thing with our brains we want to exercise it not just in feeling good and saying "Ooh, so let's relax you know let's um, get our emotional well-being going we also want to get your mind exercised because if you guys know about Alzheimer's out there you know the disease where you you know people forget who their relatives are they forget you know they will pull a toothbrush and start combing their hair instead of a hairbrush because you know their 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 mind is you know they're going into Alzheimer's so you want to prevent those kind of things by exercising not just your body but your mind and the way you do that some of the things I can tell you right off the bat you know where I have my the top of my head is things like um, reading some instructions you know some instructions on a new gadget that you buy I know that men they like to dive in and just you know skip their instructions but it's really good to read those instructions because I know most of us hate them and I don't understand them sometimes but when you hate something and your brain is telling you oh my god this is hard I can't understand that I'm just gonna go the easy way and dive into pushing buttons or whatever that's the easy way out because you're not exercising your brain so you want to exercise your brain by actually taking those steps to read that insert or even a um, I don't know medication insert and stuff those are hard words for regular people to understand so do something that's hard for your brain um, you can do the biggest way to um, that I've heard psychologists say is that you want to learn a new language you know learning a new language definitely <laughs> exercises that brain and doing things like my husband my husband does he does a lot of crossword puzzles which I admire I could I don't really care for crossword puzzles because I just don't like them they're exercising my brain but um, you know reading reading too. reading is my thing I love reading I'm such a geek so <laughs> definitely do that but um, you know just do things read something that's not normally your genre of reading maybe something different something difficult something you don't like you know something your brain doesn't really like because it's either too hard or you don't know too much about the subject that's going to exercise your brain so anyway my friends thank you so much for watching if you like this video please go ahead and like share with your friends subscribe for my next video don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to make your appointment <laughs> Uh, but anyway, thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great, super terrific, wonderful Valentine's Day love month and take care of yourselves and love yourselves. So anyway, have a terrific day and month and I'll see you next time.